So as you guys know, we have been using Curology for the past 30 days. You do go through a phase where your skin gets red and peely. You do break out. It turned green. My whole <laughs> left side of my face got swollen. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kylie. And I'm Victoria, and we're just a couple of moms bedding ourselves one habit at a time. So today is the very last day of our 30 day wash your face challenge. We just made it through our very first month of YouTube and it has been so fun to bring you guys along with us. So thank you for watching and supporting and tell your friends about us. So as you guys know, we have been using Curology for the past 30 days to try and clear up our nasty, wasty <laughs> skin. <laughs> and so we're gonna share with you what we think about it and if we're gonna keep using it. I liked it. You do go through a phase where your skin gets red and peely. You do break out. They sent me an email and they're like, oh, if you're breaking out around this time, that is normal, which I did, um, I, which I don't really like, but that's just kind of a part of the process is it brings everything to the top. I think that I would have gotten a lot better results if I wouldn't have picked my acne because they sent you an email saying, don't pick your acne, and I did. Um, I do think it's overall cleared up. I'm just I'm recovering from the pick marks, so I will continue to use it. I do think it's convenient that you can get a prescription grade acne topical just without having to go to the doctors, yeah. so that's probably my favorite part about it. So here is my before and after picture. As you can see, it is cleared up a lot, um, and I do think over the next month or so, I, I bet my skin will be completely clear as I recover from my little red spots. And for me, I also feel like I started seeing results really quickly into the challenge because I didn't have a good habit of washing my face before. So on top of liking the Curology, I really liked the challenge that we created for ourselves because it really did create a habit. When you make that promise to yourself that you're gonna do something and you keep that promise to yourself, you can make magic happen. Yep. And that's really the whole point of this channel, is to create habits that can help us create the lives that we want. Because yeah. it first became this kind of a chore, but now it's just second nature. It's just something that's part of our routine, so it's not a hassle, it's just a good habit we have now. One of my biggest concerns with my face, like I said in our very first video, is that I have a problem with my pore size. And I honestly do think that my pore size is starting to shrink, um, my complexion is looking brighter, but like Victoria, I also had a problem with picking my face. It was like one or two weeks into the challenge and I was like, ooh, my face is looking so good, but I have all these blackheads that I can see when I zoom in. So I went to the store and I bought uh, an extraction tool. And a magnifying mirror? And a magnifying mirror. She done messed up. <laughs> Nobody needs a magnifying mirror. And I sat for like probably two hours and was getting all <laughs> the blackheads out of my face and I was like, ooh, I'm doing good because I saw them popping out. Yeah. And then next thing you know, bam. Look at this picture, guys. This is what I did to myself two weeks into the challenge. And so it was like basically I, like I was starting over. So the number one thing we learned um, in clearing your skin is not to pick your face. And you know, it obviously causes red marks, but in some cases, it can become really serious. Kylie had the mother of all zits. Literally. <laughs> the mother. Like, it could be your mama, it could be your grandmama, it could be all mamas. <laughs> all the mamas were on her face. <laughs> so, once upon a time, I was breastfeeding my baby and I saw a little blackhead right next to my nose and I just wanted to pick that thing out. So I got all up close to the mirror and I squeezed mm. it and the blackhead never came out and it just <laughs> created a giant cyst on my face. A mama. A mama. It started, we, just, we just had a little mama. So she, so she got a little mama on her face. And then it got infected. It turned. Then her, then her, the mama's mama came to visit the mama, <laughs> and she also brought her mama. So three mamas came to visit the mama on her face. It turned green. My whole <laughs> left side of my face got swollen. I had to get an antibiotic. This was not gonna clear <laughs> clear up by itself. And so I had to call the doctor. I had to get on a prescription, and there was no prescription that was strong enough to kill my 
mother, lover, baby mama, the baby's mama's mama, <laughs> off my face without being dangerous for my milk, for my baby. So I had to pump and dump to get this thing off my face. Not the liquid gold. You guys, if you know about breast milk, you know how precious it is. So, did your heart just die every time you had to dump? Yes, mm -hmm. it was the worst. So, don't pick your face because if not, guess what? Here, look at this mama. This was the mother of all zits. So, thank you guys for joining us again for our last video of this challenge. And please join us next month for our Get Ready Every Day challenge. So, just make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. <laughs> <laughs> and stay tuned for our next video because we've got some fun stuff coming up. Oh! <laughs> did I snoogle you? <laughs> you snoogled me? Did I snoogle you? You did snoogle me. Shoot. I think my bra's falling off. Alright. Okay, see you guys later. Bye! Bye. Yeah, I saw this quote yesterday, and it said some let me think of the quote. It was like, um, do something. Hmm.